The Paris Agreement aims to limit global temperature increases to below 2 degrees Celsius by 2050, with the EU, Japan, and other countries aiming to keep below 1.5 degrees Celsius before 2030. Many countries are still heavily reliant on fossil fuels. Where renewables are not yet able to meet current demand, hydrogen fuel cells offer a way to add an adjustment to the energy supply to support green energy solutions. Daryl Wilson, Executive Director of the Hydrogen Council, tells us more. It's actually not possible to meet our Paris Agreement goals without the contribution of hydrogen. Hydrogen is a critical part of bringing more renewable energy onto our electrical grids. It provides storage and stabilization service. Hydrogen is a clean energy producer, emitting only water as a byproduct. One of the things we need to do is increase the amount of renewable energy sources that we have. But as we do that, those sources fluctuate. The sun doesn't shine all the time, the wind doesn't blow all of the time, and so storage is a very critical part of the equation. Hydrogen represents a great big bucket, a, a huge energy storage container. Hydrogen fuel can be converted into a compressed liquid state, which allows it to be transported where needed. Hydrogen can be moved in energy applications in various ways, as a gas, in pipelines or in tanks, and applications on shipboard energy. And there are projects that are announced around the world for the transport of liquid hydrogen, for example, from Australia to Japan and Korea. So there are many forms of hydrogen transport where we can move large amounts of energy in the form of hydrogen, similar to what we do in large oil tankers today. For hydrogen to be considered a viable option to reaching net zero goals, it needs to be converted into other forms of energy, creating a holistic system from production, storage to use. We need to decarbonize the transportation sector, of course, and hydrogen is a key part of the solution. In the heavy transport areas like trucks, buses, and trains, where a large amount of energy is required to move heavier vehicles, hydrogen is an ideal solution. We're in the early phase of scale-up in hydrogen, and yes, for the long term, hydrogen is going to play a very central part in our energy economy. 